Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome back to the Carter James Ranch. Today, we had to pull the Wagyu herd up. We actually need to do a little little preparation for a weather situation that we got that's going to arrive on Tuesday. We'll go into detail on that. This weather situation has got me concerned uh, with our huge swing in temperatures as it could really affect Diablo, our bull, who has a lung condition called pleurisy. And basically, just top of the wave here, I won't go into the, the details of it. If you want to get the more details, Google it. At some point before we got Diablo, he had, I think, pneumonia pretty bad. And so, therefore, he's got some, some the soft tissue in his lungs or scar tissue on there that can get uh, inflamed. And as a result, he has a really hard time breathing. Uh, last year, we had a day in the spring when it was 85 degrees and humid. And that night, it dropped down to 36 degrees. So, a huge swing in temperatures. And it was either the next day or the following day. I couldn't remember um, how quickly it came on but you could be standing 20 feet away from him and you could hear him breathing he just was short heavy breaths and he was not able to breathe in deep so we actually had to take him into the vet they had to treat him directly into his vein in his neck um, to get him antibiotics pretty quick to try to calm his lungs down so today let's see it's Monday um, today we're supposed to be 79 degrees cool down to 50 tonight tomorrow we're going to get up into the 80s and then uh, tomorrow night, we've got a storm front blowing in. It's going to get us all down to 21 degrees. So almost a 60 degree swing in temperatures. And I'm concerned that that's going to bring on an episode with Diablo. So talk to the vet. I'm actually going to try to treat him with some antibiotics that will hopefully be in his system already that can kind of not allow his lungs to, to flare up. Um, and we may even treat 4907J because she came down with a little bit of a respiratory issue after the Arctic freeze in January. So trying to be proactive so we're not having to do a scramble, uh, be in scramble mode um, after this huge weather system uh, comes and goes. So called the, uh, the whole herd up with some cubes, got them in the corral. That's how we get the whole the whole herd up. And um, now we're gonna sort Diablo and, and get him into the chute. So hopefully it all goes smooth. All right, so after a little bit of work here at the home place, we have kind of these temporary corrals. We just gotta work them patiently. We got Diablo in the chute here. so. What we're going to do is we're going to treat him with some antibiotics that will help him um, cope with the change in uh, the weather. I don't know if it's the barometric pressure. It must be something that agitates his lungs. Um, so we're going to get him taken care of here, get him released, and we'll see if we can get 4907J in here as well. Might give her just a little, little dose to help her out since she was grunting uh, after the Arctic freeze. So that's where we're at. So let me get this done. and. We'll get him released. All right, we're a little later in the day. Uh, we ended up not getting 4907J into the chute. Just, uh, we're gonna watch her. She just had that one bout after the Arctic freeze. So we haven't had a, uh, an ongoing issue with her. So I'm just gonna watch her real close. Um, I wanted to hit back on, on Diablo's issue with, with pleurisy. So when his lungs get inflamed, it becomes very difficult for him to breathe deep. Um, I was actually listening to a podcast, Talk Dirt to Me, and uh, one of the hosts on there, Logan, he actually had a had an issue, had had pleurisy. He was actually diagnosed with some pleurisy, and uh, so he was taking antibiotics to get over that. Now, what I gathered from listening to the podcast is he would actually get over it. In Diablo, I guess this is always going to be a condition that he has and that he will struggle with. Um, the reality of it is, the vet told me that he probably when he was younger, got pneumonia real bad and it permanently damaged his lungs or just causes his, um, his tissue to have, to have this, uh, this situation where, where this flares up. I was going to say that it seems like it, uh, it only flares up when it goes from really warm to really cold. We don't typically have days where we're really cold and we go up 60 degrees in one day. So that's just what we're going to deal with with him. Uh, the vet did tell me last year that she thinks that uh, barring some other disease that this will probably be what, what kills him at some point point. and uh, when I saw her for the first time after the winter she actually asked me if if Diablo made it to the winter time and she was actually surprised so we haven't had any other issues with him breathing just that one day last year and that's why I'm really concerned about what's what's about to, to happen tomorrow so I don't know just one of these things you deal with in ranching so that's that so heading over to the Carter James right now we're gonna go check out the South Poles and uh, make sure they're good for the afternoon. It's pretty warm today, almost 80 degrees now actually, so uh, crazy for the end of February. 
back over to Carter James. This is Nona here. She's one of our purebred South Poles. Getting a drink, checking on our water situation since it's warm this afternoon, about 80 degrees. So I got them penned up back here. They don't have any, they have a small water source back in that corner, but I don't really rely on it. So we're spreading them out. As you can see, we're starting to get a little bit of a little bit of grass here, but still unrolling hay just to make sure they, they have enough. So we'll probably give them a little more water for this afternoon since we're heading. It's about 3.30. So we still have about two and a half hours of sunlight and it's like I said it's 80 degrees and pretty warm. Doing alright girl. Notice bread. She's looking fat. She's got a she gave us a bull calf. She's actually giving us two bull calves. So she's struggling with a little lice there on her back end. Look how look how fat she is. The video doesn't really do it justice. But she's doing well. All right, back here on Tuesday morning. It is a beautiful morning. We're watching the weather today. Weather app saying legitimately we're going to hit 80 degrees by about 4 o'clock this evening. And then over the next 12 hours, we're going to drop down to 20. So not a good, uh, not a good weather pattern to have. So just got done run rolling some hay. I want to show you guys a little update on our little calf that was born on Valentine's Day. Oh, she's cute. A little full blood South Pole heifer. Here's Belle, our little bottle calf. So, we're checking on some of these gals we bought from Tennessee that were bred. I'm watching them real closely, given the fact that we had that calf so early. Um, she came a couple weeks earlier than I thought she would, but that can happen, especially when I don't know exactly when she, the bulls got turned in with them. So, just checking everyone today. And. Again, we're going to be prepping, probably on rolling some oat hay, high protein, uh, especially these little calves can bed down and all that. And then we'll be watching Diablo and the Wagyu herd to, to make sure no one has any respiratory issues uh, once the weather really, really cranks down. So this is the gal I've been, I've been watching quite a bit. I mean, look how bagged up she is. Um, she started bagging up, oh, I don't know, maybe a day and a half ago. So I'm really praying that she doesn't have a calf tonight uh, with the weather being so bad. Or just, just it dropping so cold down to 20. We're going to have tonight's going to get down to 20. And then tomorrow it's supposed to warm up to about 45. And then drop down to about 20 degrees again. And then we'll kind of be on another warm up. You know, 60s during the day and mid 40s to upper 30s at night. So that's that's A-OK. -okay. So we just got about 48 hours here where it's going to be just a really strange weather pattern. So... We'll check back in later today. All right, late morning on Tuesday. Um, I'm working on trying to break in a few hats. Trying to figure out what kind of cowboy hat I like, what style. So I bought a few. So we talked a little bit about we're having this weather event. And I just called this woman I bought a couple uh, other bred cows from. And I just wanted to confirm when they put their bull in. And... and uh, she said last year they put them in in May. I think she told me that before, maybe I didn't remember it, but of course this would happen this morning. So I don't know if you can see right there. We just had a little calf, got back to the house and noticed the whole herd was up by the fence and this one mama was, was down, down away. So healthy baby bull, happy for that. Glad she had it early. It's gonna have a heck of a day on its first day. So, um, so yeah, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. So we'll keep an update, keep a watch on him. But he'll have about uh, 12 hours of really good weather, and then it's going to start getting a little cold. So mom, mom's already up getting him licked off. He's probably born 20 minutes ago, got him tagged, and um, now he's up sucking. So that's great. That's great. All right, everyone, here we are about 12, uh, 15, um, Tuesday night, headed out to the Carter James. I had a South Pole cow that had kind of bagged up um, over the last day or two, and so watching her freaked out about this uh, this weather change, and as I'm out here checking these guys tonight, sorry, I'm kind of looking around, making sure I get my bearings. I'm walking through, and I come across placenta here. 
So she she obviously calved earlier, and so I'm looking for G24 to try to find her and make sure her calf is okay. So crazy, crazy. This is the downside of buying bred animals. Um, not everyone has the same ideas about when to, when they like calving. Some people like calving in February. You know, we're not going to be calving. Um, the middle of March and really probably more towards into April so that's the update let me try to find this calf and make sure everything's okay okay like a good mom she got it back here in the woods and uh, you know we're back here with the all the cattle they're hunkered down from the wind so I'm not gonna get any closer calf is up looking good can't tell. We'll get over here first thing in the morning and uh, it's all dried off, so praise God for that. So, alright, well, calf check. I was coming over here to make sure that it hadn't calved and it sure it did. So, all's well that's it, that ends well. Good morning. Fast forwarded to Wednesday morning. Running out here at the home place, gonna check on. Diablo and here's our little bull calf that was born yesterday so he's doing well folks yesterday was a high of 80 degrees and then we got down to a temperature of 16 degrees with the real field being four degrees due to the wind I mean that is just ridiculous that's a 76 from the high of what it felt like to the real field of four that's 76 degree change in about 12 to 15 hours so let me run over here and try to find Diablo and I actually want to check on a 4907J as well see how their lungs sound so we've got kind of two groups of cattle we have one higher up on the hill and, and this little group down here so I stopped just for the next I want to see if I could hear his him breathing he's right there on the left with the white ear tag so you can tell he's got some frozen moisture on his mouth um, I do not hear him breathing praise God for that I'm gonna try to walk over you don't need to get up big boy He appears to be doing well. Thank the Lord for that. Now, our saving grace, I was thinking about it. Yesterday, even though yesterday was 80, it was not humid. It was not a humid feel, it was just warm. So I feel like last year it was a really humid day and then went to a real, real cold night. So that's where we're at here. We're gonna run over to the car with James. Check on that calf that we had born last night. Make sure everything's going good there. They keep trucking along. Okay, still a little windy this morning over here at the Carter James. The herd's making it up. Last time I shot that video, they were way down in that end on that on the trees. So there's our little heifer. She's doing real well. So we're gonna need to pay attention to everyone, see who's coughing. See Pepe's coughing there a little bit, but he may have just gotten something in his throat. But we're gonna run out here and check on this little baby that was born last night. Just get a quick run down and make sure everyone's doing all right. So walking back here, I have a feeling that this mama is staying back, headed down in the woods back here with that baby. So in hindsight, I should have driven back here, but we'll get back here. Okay, we're making our way back here. Not everyone's made their way up. Start grazing for breakfast. We'll see if I can find that mama back here. Okay, I did find her. She's right back here. She's right on the fence line, which you kind of always hate it when they're on the fence line because sometimes these calves are wobbly and they can get through the fence. So I just want to find the calf and make sure it's okay. And then I can check on it a little later. Okay, I'm not gonna rock the boat. There's the calf right next to it, right along the fence line. And actually, that's actually uh, 
sheet fencing right there so the calf won't be able to pop through there but it's nestled down so I think it's doing all right so I'll check back with it here in a, a little a little bit so whew. yeah so we'll keep monitoring everybody make sure that uh, no one has any respiratory issues kind of stressful cabin in bad weather not a not a big fan of it so but this is what happens when you buy bread animals like this so that's probably gonna wrap it up everyone um, hope you're doing well hope you're staying warm crazy crazy last day here 76 degree temperature swing um, no crises at, at this point so thanks a lot for watching everyone I hope you're doing well God bless and we'll see you on the next video